Hey guys, the following video you're about to see is of a cute little French bulldog who, unless the owner is switching off, sitting down, relaxing, the dog struggles to switch off itself. Then it's only a young dog, it's just a pup, and it gets up to no good. He'll go in the garden, he'll eat the flowers, he'll chew wood in on the decking, uh, and attack the spa in the garden. Uh, these are all symptoms that a dog's bored and needs to switch off. Now, some dogs will automatically just switch off. Some dogs are naturally lazy. But often, with a young dog, they do struggle to switch off at times. And it's our job to teach them how to switch off. So, this video, it's such a simple thing to teach a dog. So easy to do. Okay, so, follow it. And hopefully it will help you if you've got a dog that struggles to switch off. Plus this dog is freaking adorable. <laughs> okay, so the last contest we did, guys, we didn't get a winner. Okay, so I'm going to select three names at random from that list. And we are going to give them a shout out at the end of this video. Also, make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video to find out what the next contest is. Okay, guys? Oh, no. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah, let's smash the screen to bits. <laughs> right. Give me. In your bed. Hold on. your back legs. <laughs> bed. So, again, have him in his bed. We've done this for a couple of minutes ago. But he doesn't get released until he lays down. And that can take a while. But the reason I don't tend to like to use food with certain breeds, bed, is because it creates excitement. So I actually want him to learn to go to his bed and relax. Yeah. But if he's incredibly food motivated, if he realizes he's waiting for a treat, then many times he's going to struggle. But yeah. one of the things I will do is at the end of it, when he's achieved what I want, I will give him a food reward. Yes, yeah, yeah. Once I release him like that, then what I'll do is just go break and then give him the reward afterwards. But he never ever gets released until he lays down. Yeah, and he did it really quick though. Yeah, because we did that a couple of minutes ago and I think what it took him about five minutes to lay down before. Yeah. But, but I don't ask him to lay down because often if you ask a dog to lay down, they're waiting yeah. like a trigger. Yeah. yeah, so I want him to discover, oh, laying down, oh, now I can come out. So yeah. what happens is every time he lays down, I just give it a little bit longer before I release him. So if he learns the only way I've come out is by being released, yeah. what happens is while he's waiting to be released, he's comfortable in his nice bed. Ends up dropping off, nodding yeah, off. Yeah, then it's fine. Come here, in your bed. Come on. Come on. No, nope. in your bed. There we go. You might be a stubborn Frenchie, but I'm more stubborn. <laughs> I'm more stubborn, yeah. Bed. Ah. So a little bit of spatial pressure to back him up. You're an idiot. Bed. What's he gonna do? Thinking about it? Come on, lay down. He's so handsome though. He is, isn't he? Bed. You can't go anywhere without anyone going, oh my god, your dog's so lovely. And it's he nice, he hasn't got the big bulky face either, like the French. No, you know, yeah, he's a really nice shape as well. Like, and then, he's got a nice figure to him. Yeah. He's not fat, he's not overweight yeah. like a lot of Frenchies you see. His breathing sounds all right, doesn't sound what, like he's going to... They said that the way they breeded them was to make his nose more prominent. So if you look at him, his face isn't as... You know, some are quite squished. Mm -hmm. And that's down to good breeding that they done that. And he... I must admit, like he is good with that, and he's not—he doesn't slobber, which I'm so glad about. So if you look at him, he's in two minds what to do: do I try to come out, yeah, or do I just wait? So he's his right leg's getting heavier. Yeah, look at his eyes. And his eyes are getting tired. But like I said, he doesn't. The only time he ever relaxes is if you sit down, which yeah. isn't always possible. No. Like, and it's a, it actually so winds why, up. So why I've been here, he's been trying to eat your roses, eat the uh, spa things like that, uh, up to no good because he doesn't know how to just switch off yeah. unless you switch off. So having a bed in every room in the house is going to help you teach him to just, switch yeah, off. Yeah, it'd be nice just to so watch him get into his bed. So he can still be with you, but yeah. look, go and chill out, buddy. Yeah. It's the same as what we do with children. We, we've 
newborn babies, they have to sleep a lot. You put them down yeah. to sleep. That's but what we don't we seem to, to teach you. We're no. puppies. We're puppies. We just let them run around and get up to no good, and then we wonder why they do things. Ah. Don't eat poor mate. Yes, this is what he does. He likes to have a little chew. No. <laughs> Oh, your right leg's got to go. All you have to do is that leg has go to on. give in. Do it. There we go. And I'm not going to release him straight away. Yeah, just yeah. let him chill. Let him learn because I don't want him to learn lying down gets me released instantly because then what's going to happen He'll if he pee. does? Yeah. It'll jump straight back but out. One of the things I can do is just go and do it nicely. If I want him to stay calm, I have to feed calmness. Yeah. Bed. And then you go. Break. Yeah, and you just practice this and do it while you're eating dinner. So send him to his yeah. bed. If he gets out, just stop eating dinner. Pop him back. Yeah. If you're 100 percent consistent with this, after a couple of days, bed It'll means work. bed. He knows he'll go straight in there. Lay down. Excited, like, as oh. soon as I send my dogs to their bed, they get straight in it, lay down. Yeah. And, then and within like 30 seconds, they're asleep. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, then it works. Yeah. Cool. No, that's good. That's good. The thing is, as well, like he's um, if we do have to leave him on his own when we're not here, <laughs> he'll love it. He'll look up at you. He does a little. Uh, he's quite good at posing. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Look up. <laughs> One of them's got a fit. I took about a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully, you enjoyed that video, guys. Okay, so yeah, if you've got a dog that struggles to relax teach them this it will help them massively i promise you that okay so this week's contest is uh, sorry this episode's contest is very very simple okay all you have to do we've done this one before and this one will come up quite a lot all you have to do is in the comments tell us how many likes do you think this french bulldog will get okay uh if you want a bonus point tell us how many likes and how many hearts you think it's going to get okay and just just in, also in the comments, guys, just tell us if you found this useful at all, this video, okay? We're trying to post more content that is going to help you, the typical average dog owner, with it. So let us know if you find videos like this useful, okay? Uh, or what videos you'd like us to see. But for this contest, uh, how many likes do you think this French Bulldog's going to get? The person or persons closest to the correct answer, if nobody gets the correct answer, will be obviously announced on our next post uh, we will drop a link to your business or a business of your choosing uh, if you wish us to and we'll give you an out because excuse me because nobody got the contest last time guys uh, the shout outs for this time is going to be to Sankara she's a client of mine uh, avid follower of the page uh, it's going to be to Kim Williams who is also an avid follower of the page and to Catty Floss I believe I'm pronouncing that right she's often always up in the comments so you three guys thank you for your support and also thank you everyone that commented okay get involved in the contest guys yeah have some fun